let's go down in here. Last thing, I'm gonna make this a portal to the nether. Do I have lava buckets? Well, I'm gonna concern myself with that in a moment. Let's just start knocking away at stuff here. So that's the entrance right there, so that's knocked it. In here. And then let's keep it uh, the windy way that it is, because I kind of enjoy it. How it winds up and around. But let's make this a little bit more accented. I'm just gonna do some r rough building right here. Because all of this needs to be... Uh, laid out with other stuff afterwards, so right now this is just so they get the rough shape in. Do I shift it over or shift it inwards again? I can make it actually both if I wanted to, so I can actually leave that as a shift over and then I shift it in that direction again. So that it has a little bit of a weird, wonky feeling there. One block, two blocks. Let's make it two blocks. Let's make it look a little bit more weird. Especially with that down in there. Sure. That one I'm gonna keep as is. Just going up there. It goes over like this. It's over. And that one will be maybe just like a pool of lava or something. I don't know yet. Okay, that's my rough shape here. Okay, do we have like crying obsidian or something that I can put into the corners? I suspect that we should have some crying obsidian because that would make the most sense. We have four of them. We have four of them. Let's go down. Let's make that. Also, let's take the doors away and make them out of something more interesting. Oh, I found some iron. Nobody cares about iron though. That's... Well, actually, I should care about iron because we don't have any anymore, but whatever. So let's knock all of that down by one pack because... If I want to have that lifted up like this, I need... Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Well gonna do it anyway in a moment, so whatever. Not as bad. So there we go. Um, give me those trapdoors. One trapdoor is now. In the nether. Whatever. Yeah, that has something. Okay, gonna start it off with... Nether brick, I guess? And then slowly crawling out with like netherrack after that. Let's just see. Oh, that's that's the rack. That's not where I wanted to go with that. It has something to it. Yeah, that 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 rounds it up pretty nicely. That looks nice. Okay. I, can, I like how you can hear the screams of the damned from within the nether portal. It gives it a nice touch. 
Okay, that already has a really nice feel to it. You definitely need to make some stairs for all of that. Otherwise, this will be a little bit tedious to go up and down as we have already done the whole time. Will I have just stairs connecting to stairs here? Sure, why not? I don't care too much. Let's go and grab us some stairs. And there we see, in here, we need a brick. Do I need to curve that one as well? Because that looks a little bit harsh there. Sure, let's curve that one as well. Not that way, but thank you for the effort. There you go, that's the way you need to curve. Dumb thing. These will also need to curve them. So. <laughs> yes. So, let's just continue on as planned. Because I'm just going to put a half slab in here so that it's all leveled right there. Because that's... A little bit uh, grading. There we go. That looks nice. So now all I need to do is take care of that ball there. And then the first part of that is completely done. And now it's completely dark. Which is not something that I'd like to see. I then gonna do this all night nether brick. Which looks really cool already. Or I'm gonna do the changing up stuff that I wanted to do. Which would also be a cool idea. But I somehow just wanna continue on with the nether brick stuff. So now I'm gonna shift everything over at least once. So... Gravel. Because we like gravel. It's a lie, we don't. Uh, just make it a cobbled wall behind that. And I'm gonna narrow down as well for that. Just to make the architecture here a little bit more interesting and not just linear. Because everything linear would be a little bit boring. Now we're gonna have to shift over and start climbing up there. I actually can't because that's then a little bit too straight there. I'm gonna go ahead and shove all of that. Oh, I took something away that I did not want to take away. Well, whatever. It happens. Let's have this one at that level and that one raised above that. Just for some really interesting architecture with everything. Thank you, Torch, for again accomplishing nothing for me but being a good friend in other times. So there's definitely water dripping down from above. So I'm suspecting that I will hit the pool if I punch through that. So I'm just gonna not touch that and just laying another floor right there. Figuring this architecture out is uh, exhausting. Ah, oh, there's like a really tight one. Huh. I think actually I can knock these away. Okay, all of that needs to become another brick. There we go. I 
Okay, I already like how that looks alone because you just you come down here and all you see is that way down there. Focus. And around the bend you see that. And then you look back and you see nothing but the nether brick. That looks really cool. Just need to figure out how I light all of that because it does not look nice the way it is lit up right now. Okay. Close to be done with the main layout for everything. Which already was like a tremendous amount of effort. So this is just all of that. You can get that. You can go down. You can go into the nether. So that already works perfectly and it looks really nice, I think. Now I just need to figure out how to light it up. And I personally think like strips of lava that flow down would re look really nice. Let's first and foremost make everything down here look nice and evil. Let's make this. I see treasure chests. Which is okay. Because I do not care about that. And that right here I'm gonna make into like a netherrack cavern. In which we're gonna have some just lava pooled in. Okay, that looks freaky. I'm not gonna concern myself about er anything down there because that's that's fine as it is. Okay, now I just need buckets of lava. Which, as I said, like this will become increasingly difficult. But whatever, let's go. Let's place all of the nether stuff back in there. And I have so much cobblestone right now. But luckily we always needed cobblestone apparently in this series, so we're good. Okay, now my tedious quest to run into nether into the nether, grab three buckets of lava, coming back out, and repeating this for a whole bunch goes on. Oh yeah, I also need two, uh, three slabs down here. Remember. Okay, so first things first. I'm gonna start the first one off in here. Plop. As the first light source. I mean, you can easily run into that, but I technically do not care about that. It just needs to look nice. So can I take that one away? Nah, that's a little bit too dark, so... Let's make you number two then. Plop. Yep, that looks nice. And because they fill them out completely, that looks really good. Funny, that from down here definitely looks like there's just two lava falls right next to each other, but if you go up here, they are a bit further apart. Funny how that worked out. Oh, come on. Oh, I know why it just lagged like this. Because that stupid piglin just ran into the portal and came out. <sighs> and the hole. <laughs> yeah. You having fun there, buddy? Hope you do. I'm getting so sick of that sound effect by now. So. And there you have it. The little water ca uh, water cavern, the little lava cavern. And before I go down there, I said that I need three slabs. I'm also gonna take some water my way just in case. And now we have a spare bucket in case anything ever goes wrong, which, if you know us, will be the case eventually. So. Let's just deposit a few things. I also found the two doors in the nether. 
But anyway, this is now the whole way. Here we have a new friend. And then down there's the portal. There you go. Now that's all flush. Looks nice. If I could make like a decorational piece that just goes up on the side here, yeah, I would do that. But sadly they won't let you do that in Minecraft. Which I still think is a shame because that would make so many cool structures possible. But anyway, we have everything lit up with the lava around here now. The zombie pigman. Or piglin. Up here we have the lava lake that I actually can take the torch off. The torches off. And everything is now nice and lit and looks nethery. Which is 100% what I wanted to do for the longest time here. Now only one thing is left to do and that is... On... I hate this. Why is it happening? On the back side of the nether portal there is... Still just normal like stone. So let's Let's make that also look pretty So there we go Let's make it like pop 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 Hey, oh no You come here did it just disappear? Probably just fell into the nether. Yeah, okay, wait. I need to go into the nether anyway. Ah, uh, two more times. Yeah, it just went into the nether. I hate this sound effect by now so much. It's so infuriating. And blop. There we go. And now, the backside of that also is like nice. And some interesting texture to it. Because now you can go in there and see that. And from there it also looks really nice. So yeah, I think that's all I'm going to do here. I did the one thing that Plop and I said we wanted to do. Which is prep for the final episode. And since Plop was not here, I did some just some other stuff. So hopefully we can sit down for the recording soon, so that we can finish this whole thing off. But anyway, thank you all for joining me for this other pointless solo excursion, and see you next time. Bye bye.